Now that smartphones have been engineered to take perfect photos, Gen Z has other ideas. I take all my pictures on this. Blurry, grainy, and blown out snaps are all the rage. It's no longer cool to be in focus. These digital point and shoot cameras are just the kind of low tech influencers are looking for. To my surprise, this actually works. And I just took this photo that looks kind of sickening that I need to post on Instagram. Hashtag digital camera is exploding. The trendsetters buying them now had their baby pictures taken with them two decades ago. This is an era, isn't it? This, is this represents an era. an era. This is the era before everyone started using their phone. At K&M Camera in Manhattan, they can't keep digital cameras on the shelf. Do you have people coming in here, kids coming in here, uh, looking for these? I mean, this is what everyone wants. I mean, we buy seriously uh, probably a hundred of these a week and sell almost all of them. Really? 24-year-old Kaylee Sakamoto says her grandmother gave her an old camera. Why do you use it? It's kind of nice to just have a different aesthetic choice and it's instead of filters and everything it just comes like that you don't know how it's going to turn out do you like that it feels kind of old yeah it's Are nice and it's that? also a, a step away from being on your phone all the time we tried one out in the neighborhood comparing it to photos taken with an iphone 13 as you can see a much softer feel and it's not just old digital either Film is making a comeback as well. At Tuttle Cameras in Long Beach, the owner says film sales have recently tripled, with demand for vintage cameras skyrocketing during the pandemic. And for those who can't afford to get a new old camera, there's a hack. Retrofitting the latest iPhone to take the new old looking photos. Gen Z has done this kind of thing before with low rise jeans and track suits. This is iconic. This is such a sleigh. Wireless headphones have been ditched for wires. Just don't tell them that making everything old new again is actually nothing new. There are some famous photographers who have gone back to these digital cameras as well, adding them to collections of old film cameras. It's kind of this turn of the century look that you can't get using anything else. Turn of this century. Right. Yeah. In some ways, I get it. The look of it, it's just fun. It's just new. There's like 10,000 filters on the iPhone. I'm just so confused they can't find the right filter to get the vintage. Well, look, and if you, you know? saw that, you can put a little saran wrap on your yeah, iPhone. So yeah, and a little Vaseline and you'll get that. Well, maybe the, like, the poor quality is like maybe. a good filter. It kind of fuzzes also, over you know, everything. And that young woman that I spoke to said what she likes about it is when she takes it out, she's not on her phone. And yeah. she feels like it separates her from the device. That you need a device to separate from the did, device. Now, did you match your <laughs> outfit to your phone? Of course that, I Yeah, I know. As you do. Okay. Of course I did. Thank you, Thank Stephanie. You, Steph. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.